Come with us as we take a day trip to Murano, Italy, a small town outside of Venice. Murano is renowned for its long history of glass making. There's no sharks. There might be sharks. We could totally surf back There's here, though. There's a possibility. Are there sharks in the Adriatic Sea? Dozens of shark species. <laughs> oh my gosh. What? There's sharks in here. There's dozens. Let's get out of here. Murano is a series of islands lying about one mile north of Venice. It's famous for glass making. Initially, the history of glass making began in Venice, which is a mostly wooden city. However, in 1291, all of the glass makers were exiled to Murano. The high temperature furnaces that are necessary to make glass built concerns that the wooden city of Venice would burn to the ground with many of these facilities. Since Murano is a small island, exiling all the glass makers to this island minimized concerns for fire outbreaks in Venice. These furnaces must get to temperatures of over 1200 degrees. Some historians now believe that the exile was more of a means of controlling and isolating a rapidly developing lucrative craft. Further measures prohibited members of the guild from even leaving the island. This made for certain families becoming captive to the craft. After generations of refinement and innovation, some of the techniques have maintained over time. This is Alex Signoretti, a 27-year-old master artist who has followed in his family's footsteps of glassmaking. Here we see a rarely captured example of how glass can be layered. You can see Alex's partner placing air through one end of the tube, which makes the molten glass into a bubble, and then you can subsequently layer a color on top of a previous color. This has to be done carefully and can be completed for a maximum of five layers of glass. This has to be done very carefully in order to not break the previous layer of glass. This allows for several colors to be layered one on top of the other. Once the temperature of the molten glass cools off, the glass will subsequently harden. Then they can break the outer bubble and repeat the process for multiple layers of different colors. This is just one technique that's utilized in glass blowing to create beautiful pieces of artwork. It was really quite fascinating to watch and over the course of about 20 minutes, we saw them creating multiple different pieces of artwork at the same time. Here you can see Alex and his partners creating a beautiful glass horse. After we were done learning about glass making and watching the artists at work, we got to go to the gallery. Here you can see items that are available to purchase. This was the downstairs area. I wasn't allowed to videotape in the upstairs area as there was many unique pieces of glass artwork up there. Some of the artwork was so beautiful I couldn't even believe my eyes. So if you ever find yourself in Venice, I would highly recommend going to Murano for a brief tour of the glass Thank making you. facilities. Absolutely beautiful. And yes, I did come home with a couple of pieces of artwork.